Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Crystal, and for today's video, we are doing an unboxing. It's been a while since we did an unboxing. I think the last time was the AirPods Pro, was it? <laughs> okay, I'm not. I don't even remember anymore. Let me already bring it up. Ta-da! <laughs> so yeah, I'm so happy. This is my first ever high-end bag. Oh, thank you so much, my dear Matcha, <laughs> for sponsoring this video. So you know, this could be. This could be the start of something new. But before I show this to you, I would just like to share a little bit of the story of how I got this bag. But if you don't want to hear that story anymore, that's okay. Just skip on to this time here or you can also check the chapters down below. I was actually looking for a Prada loafers. I can't afford it, but I just saw it and I thought it was cute. And so I was researching about that and probably because I was looking at that. So there were already a lot of bags and shoes that are coming up onto my feed. Wait, my eyes are hurting. My contacts are hurting me. I think they're already expired and I'm still using it. So yeah. I was looking at that and then um, this bag right here popped into my feed and I looked into it. I searched it up, looked it up and looked for a reseller here in the Philippines. And then I found Fashion and Beauty Lab. So Miss Janice, thank you so much for helping me get this bag. And she was so nice. She was so kind and accommodating. So my birthday came in so early. <laughs> Check Beauty and Fashion Lab. Yeah, I will link their page, Instagram, and Facebook pages down below. They sell authentic stuff. I believe they source it from an out from outlet stores in the US. So yeah, you get them for a bit cheaper than the suggested retail prices from the boutiques. So the bag comes in with this paper bag. Tory Birch paper bag. <laughs> So yeah, it also comes in a dust bag. I received this yesterday and I was really saving it for this unboxing video. So, ah! Wow, look at that! It's so beautiful, isn't it? So yeah, let us remove all this. I will show a close-up look of it without all the styro. Even though it's from the outlet stores because they said I researched about it and from outlet stores they said that the quality could be lesser. It's authentic but the quality is not as high compared to the retail stores because they sell it for a cheaper price. But I checked the stitching here outside. It's it's still perfect. Yeah. Hi, so I have just finished removing all of the styro and the protective plastic from the bag and yeah, so now I can show it to you guys properly. Everyone, look at it! It's so pretty! So it has this tag. I haven't removed it yet so I can show you. There's the Tory Birch tag and so yeah, it says here what the name of the bag is so this bag is the Fleming small convertible shoulder bag so yeah you can use it on as a it's so pretty <laughs> it's so pretty so yeah you can use this as a sling bag or as a shoulder bag like look at this gold hardware and the black leather intertwined with it very Chanel looks so gorgeous wow look at that who is she? <laughs> OMG 
it's so beautiful, really. this um, this one is removable so if you're not feeling the tassels uh, I saw some people remove it but as for me I like this um, tassel charm so yeah it's just a soft leather so I read that it's easy to be scratched so be careful about that so I actually thought that I bought um, I should have bought the big one the large but now that it came this small is just perfect yeah, so I can definitely fit uh, my phone and my wallet and yeah, a lot more things like a lipstick and what else do I put in my bag? Uh, my keys. So yeah, this is the bag. It's so beautiful. So this is my old bag. This is from Parfois. So yeah, I have been using this since 2019. Yeah, so it's been with me for two years now. So as a bag comparison I don't use multiple bags so since 2019 this is the bag that I've been using unless I need to use my laptop bag to go to work or to bring it somewhere so yeah but as you can see yeah it's been used a lot I love this bag yeah it's spacious I mean an umbrella could fit in here <laughs> like my umbrella oh yeah sanitizer I have this stuff so yeah this one's pretty big. First, I will show you close up of this bag, and then I will put things that I usually put in my bag so you can see what fits in here. Alright, so I just flipped the camera to front of the camera so that I can see. So now let's do the what fits in the Tory Birch Fleming Small. So, let's open it up. So this is my wallet. This is the Travelon wallet because for safety reasons, I want my wallet to be RFID protected. OMG, it's so big! <laughs> my wallet is so big. Okay, so I think I have to buy a smaller version of that wallet if I'm going to use this plus it's filled with so much coins so yeah <laughs> all right so with that that's the only thing that I can fit in here so let's remove it first so yeah you cannot have a wallet this size this big this is about I think this wallet is about seven inches that's the only thing that can fit here <laughs> that's my wallet so i need to buy a smaller one or just a card holder or like a wristlet with that aside <laughs> i'm putting my alcohol and my pen wait i usually put the pen at the pocket so there's a pocket insert here so i'm gonna put the pen there my keys which can damage oh my gosh it can damage the leather inside I think it's a bad idea to put the lipstick and lip balm and of course my phone which I'm using to record but yeah if there you have some space left so a phone and a wallet yes so yeah those things can fit in there so yeah some people actually put their phones here at the back but 
I don't want to do that because I don't think it's safe, <laughs> especially if your phone is big. So yeah, you can put some of your money in there, I guess. Now that I've transferred some of my stuff, I realized, yeah, it is small, but that's okay. So you just need a smaller wallet for you to use. And now it's so noisy. Okay, stop. I should I should not do that. Oh my gosh. Why did I do that? <laughs> it looks like I need an organizer. That's what you call an organizer for the keys. The the lipsticks, they're good since they're so soft. <laughs> since they're smooth. The pen is good. Alcohol is good. Yeah, so that's it for my video for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you're thinking of getting the bag, go and treat yourself. This bag is gorgeous. It's a good entry level for the high-end bags. It's definitely, definitely worth it. Go for the black uh, for the entry level so that you can have lots of uses of it. This is the Terry Birch Fleming. Also comment down below what is your first high-end or luxury bag. I would love to know and hear about that. <laughs> Please follow me on Instagram and in TikTok. I post live and Japanese content there as well. Just like here in my YouTube channel. So yeah, um, I'll see you guys again next week. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. God bless you. Bye!